Working with formulas and functions that calculate results from cells within one worksheet can be difficult enough. Working with multiple worksheets and workbooks can seem downright impossible. To make it easier for you and others that utilize the work you do, Excel 2016 enables you to name ranges for use in functions and formulas. Which one's easier to read? Equals sum B4 to range B7 or equals sum quarter 1. This provides a way for you to read a formula or function more naturally because these names are often based on existing titles used in the worksheet. In addition, with very large worksheets, navigation can take some time and cell and range names give you a way to navigate the worksheet much faster. I need to total my company's regional sales data by quarter. Since this is a big project, I'm going to use range names to help me and my colleagues quickly identify the data being totaled. I'll start with the region worksheet and the quarter one column. A little trick. I can quickly select all cells with data in them with a simple control, shift, and down arrow. That's a nice little time saver. Now I can define a name for this range using the new name dialog box which allows me to precisely configure what the name refers to. That's under Formulas, Define Names, and Define Name. Let's verify that the correct quarter is listed and that Workbook is selected so that the name applies to the entire workbook and not just a single worksheet. It's always a good idea to confirm that the range is correct too, noting that Excel has added Region as a reference to the specific worksheet and made my cell references absolute references. Creating a reference to cells on another worksheet is as simple as adding the worksheet name and an exclamation point directly before the cell or range reference. Great! There's my name. Another method of naming a range is by using the name box here. This is the most direct option, but less advanced. I select my range, select the name box, and simply type my name, and press Enter. We can now confirm the new range name, and indeed, we have two names saved here. I can also use the Create from Selection method, which enables me to quickly create a single range name or multiple range names at once. For example, I'm going to select two columns this time, including column header names as well. Now I simply select Create from Selection, and you'll see that the top row checkbox is checked. This creates two name ranges based on my selection. There they are. Nice and easy. I can use the Create from Selection command to create named ranges for rows simultaneously as well. Confirm that the left column checkbox is checked and OK. There we go. Nice. I can now use the name box drop down to easily select a range. Nice. Of course, sometimes you need to edit the range names. This can easily be done in the name manager. I've decided to shorten the names to make them a bit easier to read.
There we go. I like that a lot better. I now have several options for inputting formulas. For example, I can quickly select the quarter one range and press the auto sum button to total these figures. Or I can type a range into my formula. For example, just like that. Both are fine options but a name range can sometimes make your formulas much easier to understand. My quarter one formula includes cell references, while my quarter two formula includes a name range. And of course, always save your work. You've learned how to name and edit ranges, which will enable you to read formulas and functions more naturally and navigate a worksheet much faster. I recommend you get in the habit of naming your ranges whenever possible.